Hello folks, in this video, we're going to look at how I went about my quant preparation and what are the things that worked for me, which helped me in getting the 99th percentile in CAT 2023. So this is going to be a video from uh, an aspirant's perspective. I already made two videos where I talked about my VARC and DALR preparation as well as my attempt. So if you have not watched that video, click the link uh, on this uh, description of this video. Check it out before you watch this video. So let's get started. So uh, quant is my strongest section. So I was comfortable with quant and I had the base and fundamentals already in place. So once that is done, I, I just needed to fix my gaps. So that is the first thing that I focused on. So I tried to find the topics that I was not very comfortable with and uh, do question after question on that. So for example, I was not very comfortable with races. I was not very comfortable with inequalities. So I picked races and I did 20, 30, 40 questions to get comfortable with the general type of questions that comes in CAT. Right? And uh, this is not just on a topic level, you can also go one level deeper and go for subtopics. So let's say in races, you might not be comfortable with circular races. So you can do a lot of questions on circular races. So this is how you identify your gaps and try to fix it with uh, solving a lot of questions. And this really helped me uh, during my preparation. So this is the first uh, point. The second one is with respect to my mocks. So while I was taking my mocks, uh, I had a goal that in the first 10 minutes I need to do at least uh, say 3 to 4 questions or something like that. So but what di uh, this did was it put an undue pressure on me saying that I need to do this in the first 10 minutes and I was not able to hit that target because uh, a lot of the times I get stuck in some question and then uh, I lose my confidence and that sort of compounds to, uh, to the next question and so on and so forth. So what I did was I removed this target and I thought okay in the first 10 minutes I need to set the pace and this is true for any section that you take. So setting the pace is important just get the questions right in the first 10 minutes. It doesn't matter if you get two questions questions or three questions or five questions getting questions right should be your single most focus so uh, once i did that shift uh, i was able to do a lot more questions instead of doing 13 questions i was doing 16 questions because i was able to make that shift because i did not worry about uh, doing certain number of questions in the first 10 minutes right so this was the second thing that helped me the third thing which helped me uh, is in the question selection aspect so i realized that uh, uh, the strategy that, that I had, which is the round strategy, uh, had uh, one issue, which is I, I categorize questions based on topics and I say that in my first round, I will not do certain topics and then uh, only focus on topics that I am very comfortable with. But the problem with this is if uh, let's say I, I, I take a topic like uh, linear quadratic and I do a question and if the question is difficult, I'm going to spend a lot of time that on that and waste a lot of time. So doing this uh, is going to sometimes end up uh, you wasting a lot of time. So to avoid this, I try to evaluate the question based on uh, the question itself rather than on the topic. So what do I mean by that is I see a question and then I decide whether this question is easy or not, whether I can do this or not and then decide on that and move on to the next one. So this really helped me in boosting my attempt. So yeah, so that is something that worked for me. Again, uh, make sure that you try different things and see uh, if that particular strategy works for you or not. Especially for quant, if you're aiming for a very high number of attempts, you cannot just say, you know, these are the topics that I will not touch or something like that. You do not have the luxury to do that. So make sure that you evaluate questions, uh, question by question and go about attempting. So yeah, those are the three broad things that uh, helped me. So let's now talk about uh, my uh, quant attempt in 2023. So uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, my DLR was not as per my expectation. Uh, I carried that to quant and I wasted 15 minutes. So I constantly kept thinking about DLR and what I could have done better. And I, my mind was not in the right place to solve quant questions. And as you guys know, quant was notoriously difficult in CAT 2023. So uh, 15 minutes has gone, I did not even solve a single question. And then I had two options. I realized that either I can keep, uh, you know, worrying about uh, DLR and, you know, screw up my quant or I can uh, spend the remaining 25 minutes and try to do as many questions as I can. So I did the second thing. So I picked myself up and I said that, okay, now I'm going to do one question and get it right and gain my confidence back and then go and see how many questions and I, I can do. So I did that. I was able to do one question and then subsequently I went on to do nine questions in the remaining whatever time that I had 
and uh, although it it did uh, it did not uh, come to the level of expectation that i had i was doing 15 16 questions but now i had done only nine questions but at least it did not i did not screw up the section entirely right so anyway so i did nine questions and i was able to do, get a decent score in quant so that is uh, what, that is how it went for me and uh, you would have seen this theme in all the three sections so in all of the three sections i had a, a couple of setbacks and i had to come back from it and then move and uh, you know go about uh, solving the paper and that is what you need to develop while practicing mocks so make sure that you build that decision making ability mocks is not just to uh, score well and boost your ego it is about you know trying different strategies and failing and finding the one that suits you so that is what you should be doing and hope uh, whatever that uh, whatever inputs that i gave helped you um, yeah best wishes for cat 2024 Hush.